My name is Ivan. I'm going to be talking about um, B, B, B versus Ferguson. Um, so imagine you're at Six Flags and you're waiting to get on your favorite ride. And someone told you that, that you can't get on this ride. And yeah, and yeah, well, this was happening uh, not, not too long ago. Uh, this is Homer A. Leslie. Um, he was one eighth black, and uh, Leslie B. Ferguson was a small, uh, small case that ultimately, ultimately ended up, ended up changing the course of history in the U.S. His decision at the at the hands of the at the Supreme Court had resonated effects with the within racial rights in the U.S. for 50 years. In 1892, Homer Plessy was one eighth black and was told and was told by a committee of, of citizens to challenge the separate car act that required for blacks and whites to ride separate but equal carts. We should uh, we should learn more about the, the past so that we won't forget and commit the same errors we did back then. Okay. Um, as a student who took U.S. history in, in 11th grade, I learned and took notes about the Plessy v. Ferguson court case. I feel that since I had some exposure to this case fiercely and put in time and effort in the, in, into researching it, that I have some significant amount of experience to be able to discuss the court, this case is in detail, and why it matters. So, by learning more about the Plessy v. Ferguson court case, you will learn that, that racism can even tent the laws of land and even turn the, the federal government against individual citizens based on their creed or race to the extent that the government-sponsored segregation was still happening in the nation less than 60 years ago. Okay, so to better explain this case and its importance, I will, I will cover three, three key parts. First, I will talk about the court, the court case itself and how it began, all, how it all began, and then I will discuss how the government institutionalized racism, racism and segregation as a law of the land and finally, my third point will cover how none of these things exist because of a landmark, landmark case in 1954 called Brown v. Board of Education in which the Supreme Court of the United States struck down the doctrine known as separate but equal clause, which then they found violated the 13th and 14th Amendment. To begin, Plessy v. Ferguson was a court case in 1996 in New Orleans where Homer Plessy decided to challenge the separate car act and ended up going to the Supreme Court. So, as you can see, do you think this is equal towards the right? 